Hi, so today I'm going to show you how if your organization, if your school, if your whatever it is sends you a year long calendar, how to import that into your calendar at once without having to like, I don't know, go back to look at a PDF because I've realized most institutions send uh, PDF files instead of uh, you know, like a, an importable calendar thing. So you have to go back every day and look at the thing to know what they all input this manually. Uh, so the best way, what I do is create a file that can import all these at once. And then I just import that into my calendar and all these will just uh, be there automatically. This is something simple that an AI can do. So what I did is, uh, this is a full calendar, this is my school. So it starts all the way back in summer, you know, Feb, whatever. But I only wanted spring. It all starts all the way from fall 2024, but I only wanted uh, spring 2025. So I just took a screenshot of this part only. Uh, I used cloud, but this is a simple thing. Chat GPT can do this for you. Uh, Gemini can do this for you, and AI can do this for you. So I pasted that screenshot and told it to create a calendar uh, importable file of this calendar, you know, or a prompt of similar manner. It can be done any other way. So what it will do is create this file because most calendar extensions are ICS file extensions, and uh, that's what the algorithm will create for you. And ICS can be imported into Google Calendar, Apple, or Outlook, any calendar app basically. So it gave me this file. Now what you do is you save this file. You just copy this code. Um, I pasted it in my in my Sublime file. And then you save this as whatever name you want. And then you add this extension. This is the important part. You know, uh, I already saved it as Spring 2025. Then you add the extension as .ics. That's the important part. The extension when you save in the file, just put whatever name you want. Mine is Spring Calendar 2025, and then .ics, and then just save that. Okay, and now you need to import that into your calendar. Um, so that can be done using your phone or your all your all your pc so i've opened my calendar on pc this is my school calendar on the pc and if you just come to settings you know um and then come down here you see import and export click that select from computer and then look for that ics file select that and then click import uh oh shit Ah, mine can't. Okay, then I can save it as iCal maybe. What? Why? Why doesn't Google Calendar import this? Okay, so I'm gonna save that as iCal instead. Let's see. Google sucks. Let's try that. But this works. If it was literally any other calendar, Google has, I think we all know this, Google has the shittiest calendar. What? Uh, anyway, don't know why that is not working. Let's try that with a different type of calendar. Let's try that with Outlook. Uh, we'll see. Oh, all the file that was created, let's see. Even the file that was created matters, may have some errors. Okay. Oh, wow, my calendar. Da, 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 da. Wait, where are they? Where are these calendar settings? Um, let's 
So I'm going to try that again, this time using uh, ChatGPT. So I just paste the file and tell it create a calendar uh, importable file for this uh, for this calendar spring schedule. So I just uh, okay. I don't need to add that, but you can say you know so that I can um, you know import all at once. But you know I don't need to add all that. Um, let's see. Analyzing. Yeah, GPT is taking its sweet time. Oh, nice. So, oh, nice. Uh, so, GPT gave me a CSV. You can use ICS or CSV, whichever. So, um, GPT gave me a CSV. Let's download that. Here it is. It even named it right. Okay, so let's try CSV and see. Um, so I just go here, import CSV. Um, hmm. Yeah, this Google Calendar has problems. This should work, but you know it's Google. They have shitty products. Huh. Google. Oh, wait. Maybe it's the type of calendar. Let me try my other. Oh yeah, plus I have like a billion Google accounts with a billion types of calendars. So that could also be the problem. Let's try this. Huh. Why is Google refusing to import this? Okay. Let's try something else. Bam, 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 bam. So since you know it's Google and its products are always retarded, I'm going to try and get it in the format, their shitty format that they understand because apparently while everyone else can take CVS or ICS, they only want iCal or VCS which is Ah, typical of Google so I just ask this to give me in that format um, okay hmm. ask GPT the same thing but it's eh, making my life hard uh, let's see what cloud is giving me because that's a smarter thing Okay So cloud gave me VCS. I just need to copy this Yeah, cloud is a better programmer than GPT in case you already know Copy this save that as spring dot VCS uh sorry vcs save that come back to my retarded google calendar uh, uh okay this should work import and voila we have a winner okay so let's test uh, whether these events actually imported so if I'm to check my calendar um, I have hold up hold up hold up hold up mm. so 
I have let's take last day to drop class without Mac. That's Monday, March twenty fourth. Okay, let's go to Monday. Um, March twenty fourth, and it's here. Last day to drop class without blah 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 blah. Okay. So that is how you can import all your calendar events in case you're given to them in PDF into one file. If you're using retarded Google Calendar because Google has shitty products, you need to save this as either VCS file or what was the other useless one? All iCal, which I don't know if this is Google, it's, it's, it's stupid. So you just paste the, the PDF, the screenshot, the whatever into any AI of your choice. I use cloud because it's a smarter AI in terms of programming and getting things done, but you can use these GPT things which may, um, you can use Gemini or you can actually also use, um, let me see, AI, you can use, um, AI, this AI studio by Google, you know, they have some pretty powerful models on there that, you know, can get things done. Um, so yeah, you can choose any of these, paste your screenshot and then tell it, make this an importable, you know, file, whatever. It will give you some code, copy that code into any text file you, any text editor, notebook plus plus can do on your laptop. You don't need a complicated text editor. And then save, which is the most important part, save with the extension. When you're saving, you save, depending on what the AI gave you, it will tell you, if it gave you .vcs, you use that. And then you save either with .vcs or with .ical or with .ics, which is the standard for everything. But for some reason, Google Calendar doesn't use it. But if you're using Apple Calendar or Outlook or any of the other things, ICS should be okay. Um, VCS is strictly for Google Calendar, which is very strange. Again, Google is a shitty company, so I don't, I'm not surprised. Um, but yeah, and then you save that, then you go to your calendar settings, look for import somewhere, and just import that file, and all the events will be put into one long uh, place, I guess. And with that, that's how you create a, you know, I did this because I have this. I had this problem. Our school sends us calendars in PDFs, which is like, how am I supposed to put that in my in my PDF? So what do I do? I just create a file, import that one file, and I have all the events there without even having to think about them. Yeah, I hope this helps someone because it's a problem I also had. And yeah, good luck. Bye.